We did a lot of things to prepare for our retirement. We met with financial planners. We saved. We felt like we had done everything we needed to do to address the things that could impact us financially in retirement. Yeah, we felt very prepared and we thought we had a great game plan going for us as we headed into retirement. That's right, but we were so wrong. <laughs> we, we missed some biggies. And today we're gonna share five things that we wish we would have known before we retired. We're John and Bev, and we are the Retirement Travelers. The first thing we wish we would have known before retirement is that changing your life is okay. You do not have to stay in, in the box or in the boundaries that you think you need to. Or in the life you've created. Maybe you have lived in the same house all your life or maybe you've lived in the same town all your life and it is okay to make a big change in your life and you'll be okay no one says this that's right everyone you, says to live conservatively yeah and usually it's around the financial aspects of your of your retirement and we're we agree with that and we're okay with it but what we're saying is we wish we'd have known that it's okay to take some chances and and uh, live your retirement life and take some risks yeah the chris stapleton song starting over we'll leave a link for it below um, it means something to us because it talks about, honey, for once in our lives, let's take some chances and roll the dice. Yes, it's or kind of something like that. Yes, it's kind of our theme. It's kind of our theme song of retirement, and yeah. and that's what we're doing. Retirement is a time to start over, try new things, and don't live your life in a box. The second thing we wish someone had told us is that vacation retirement, living in a hammock, sitting on the beach can be unfulfilling without purpose. That's right, we lived in almost the perfect uh, retirement. We lived in a gated golf community, we played golf, we had very little responsibilities, we socialized. You know, it was a pretty awesome retirement, but we got there while we were young and we soon started to realize, you know, we weren't challenging ourselves, we weren't growing, uh, it was not what we wanted in our retirement lives. Yeah, we were looking down the road of thinking we were going to be there for 30 years and 30, 40 years, however long we live. We needed purpose. And so we decided to start our YouTube channel and, and go out and see the world and follow a passion of our own of seeing the world and trying to do the young person's game of vlogging. Yes, this is definitely not an old person sport. You look out there, you, there's not too many uh, full-time vloggers. It's not easy, and but we're learning as we go and, and it's something we're building together and we're growing. And this was exactly the kind of challenge we needed in our, in our retirement lives. And we just didn't know it before we retired. Our hope is that we're inspiring you to travel the world. We have some friends who are doing some great things in their life. They ha are living their life with purpose in retirement. We have a couple that we know that have joined with some other Vietnam veterans to form the group called the Dove Fund. And we'll leave a link for them below and you can check out what they're doing. They are basically Vietnam veterans who said, we wanna go back to Vietnam and give back. And they were there as young men and now they're going back as older men. And their wives and communities are joining in with them and they're creating schools, they're giving scholarships, they're giving microloans and solar lighting. It's been yes. pretty incredible. Yeah, that's exactly the kind of things we want to incorporate our passion of world travel. We'd love to meet up with them at, at some point yeah, in our travels and and make a difference in the world. You know, the sky's the, sky's the limit on what us old people can do in retirement. <laughs> the third thing we wish we knew is just how important it is to be aligned with your spouse. Now, we were very aligned, but I think we took it for granted. Yeah, we always agreed on the, the major things that went on in our life. We always, we've never argued about the big stuff. No, not just the little stuff. <laughs> just the little stuff occasionally. <laughs> in our travels, we probably get told at least once a week, no joke, I would love to go do what you're doing, but my spouse won't go with me. Yes, we hear we hear that all the time. It, you know, when spouses have completely different dreams in retirement, um, you either have to compromise or there, there are probably going to be some conflict. So it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's challenging. So we feel very blessed uh, that we are completely aligned on, on our dreams and how we're living our retirement. But, you know, I wish we would have known that, you know, don't take that for granted. That is a that's a biggie. 
The fourth thing that we wish we had been told before we retired was the value of downsizing our life and how important and freeing it would be to us. Yes, and we had started the process of downsizing before retirement, but we hadn't finished it and we had no idea what a hold on our life uh, our stuff had. And it wasn't just financially, it was, it was mentally as well. We spent a lot of our you know, emotional energy <laughs> you know, thinking and talking and, and working on the stuff that we had. Does the lawnmower have gas? Does the, you know, do we, do we have fertilizer on the grass at the right time? And, you know, all of those little things all just add up. We had a closet full of clothes that we didn't wear. I mean, <laughs> it's right. the same thing with a house. You spend all your time in one little area of a house. Now, instead of worrying about our stuff, we are working on where are we going to go next? How are we going to create the next video? What are we learning? What kind of hobby can we do? I mean, we, who are meeting? That's who, incredible. Who, who, are, who are meeting? We're meeting new people, <laughs> interesting people around the world. Our life has just completely changed when we disconnected from our stuff. And, you know, we knew a little bit before retirement, but boy, we wish we would have known uh, more. The last thing we wish we would have known before retirement was just how short and precious life is. And it's not that we didn't know, but we kind of felt like oh, that's way in the future. I mean, when you're planning for retirement, you talk about things like long-term care and everything's in the distant future. And what we learned was life comes at you fast. It seems like that's far away, but if your life expectancy is 78 to 81, um, you know, you retire at 65, that's 14, 15 years that you have. And those end years are probably not going to be your best years. So, yeah. you know, take your early years and do what you want to do because, and, and live your life to the fullest and make the most of your life in those years that's, because we know we're gonna slow down. That's right. I mean, we had a good friend die and that really impacted us. Uh, you know, he was in his 50s. That's where we are, and you know, we realize that, you know, you better go live your life as soon as you can. I mean, and and that definitely had an impact on us, and kind of gave us a sense of urgency to go do some things that, that maybe we wouldn't have done. Yeah, and the other thing that it does is it gives us a sense of urgency that we have to take care of our health. You know, we're on the road, so it is something that's on our mind that we still have to go see the doctor and we still have to get things checked out. We still have to do our maintenance. The biggest thing that can derail your retirement and your sense of well being long term is your health. Take care of yourself. That's number one. We hope that you've enjoyed this video and that it's been insightful to you. And if you found value in it, hit subscribe and and be sure you follow our journey. Every week we try to post a vlog of our travels and we're doing some a how-to series. If you got other ideas on things that you wish you would have known before retirement, or send us a, a note in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Yeah, a lot of people read our comments, so you can, you can share some of your insights. We love talking to you and we love communicating with you. So. All right, we'll see you next week. <laughs> Be sure to hit subscribe and follow along on our retirement journey around the world.